Patrick, I think uh, I saw a Luigi Death Glare coming out of uh, the Ferrari. I think so too. And he's looking on the inside, they touch just slightly, and they're back underway. There's some incredible racing going on today. Three minutes of driver change, three minutes. Right now, Hat PGH is trying to claw away back from their early mishap, but right now they're not under full place. They're playing a different pitch strategy, ladies and gentlemen. Hat PGH, Hack to the Future, as you know them, are the team that is going to be not going full out. Oh, I need a lucky 13 in the wall. How oh, unfortunate. I want to remind everyone here that the Power Racing Series is brought to you by Liquid Wrench. We have some fantastic merchandise over here. We have some merchandise over here. We buy the stands. We have t-shirt stickers, posters, and so much more. We have a little bit If we look back to the leaders, Patrick, I, I, I can't take my eyes off of them. They're constantly trying to overtake each other. Nimby Ferrari looking every single chance they get. Back and forth. Charles is, Charles is a distracted. Nimby Ferrari gets around them. There seems to be a problem. He's got a problem. He's got his hand in the air. I think he's got an issue. He might have a screw bar. He's got a problem there. Screw bar is stuck in the wall. Yeah, that's slowing up there for a small caution. Meanwhile, our leaders is going to a pit with a dramatic issue. That's going to cost him a massive amount of time, especially because Nimby Ferrari, who are walking the car off the track now. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Fubar Last all the way from New Jersey. They're having some bad luck now, but it's not over yet. This is just the beginning of the race. Right. They have plenty of time to fix it, to get the car back underway. <laughs> but really, meanwhile, Nimby Ferrari is your new leader as Chidi Nikugan comes in, runs into the pits with some major issues. One minute to driver change, one minute to driver change. Our first driver change of the day, and right now, Nimby Ferrari is in first place. But unbelievable. Their consistency is paid off. I3 Detroit, your hometown heroes are now in second place as TD Miku Van has thrown themselves into the pits. Meanwhile, we have Cartastrophe in third, Hack to the Future in fourth, and Phantom Power Racing in fifth. TD Miku Van is back out in sixth place now. We had a few seconds left until the driver change, ladies and gentlemen. The first stint of today's endurance race. I know it doesn't look like an endurance race right now because these teams are running completely on the limits. Meanwhile, Matilda on the limit of their tires, hopping wheelies everywhere they can. GD Miku Van is going to have a lot of time to make up. Oh, uh, caution is out. Well, well, that going over again. That can't keep happening for them. That is some tough luck for them right now. That is unfortunate. In fact, we're going to have a driver change now, too. Uh, driver, driver change. change. Driver change. When you guys come back out, we're going to be green flag. All right, so we got some early changes right now. Nimby Ferrari already oh, allowed to get in, and Batman's got a broken car, and he's looking for Moxie. What a tremendous strategy by Nimby Ferrari. They pull in as the caution. Batman's car doesn't work. He's looking for Moxie from anyone who will help him. Where's my Moxie board? Patrick, I'm in here in the pit stalls with, with Chidi Miku Van. Charles just got out of the car and screamed, I need a drill bit. The face of the Chidi Miku Van is broken off. The little magnetic smile face is now a frown. I'm not sure what's going to go on with the car now, but they're changing the atomic Chidi as we speak. I believe their cars are put at the same time. I know I see the choice back out and putting laps on them. So does Hack PGH also back out. But right now the drama is in the Chidi Miku Van pits. Everyone's coming back out of the pits with the new drivers. Some have new batteries. Leading right now is Mini Ferrari. I3 Detroit in second place. Cartastrophe from Chicago in third. Phantom in fourth place. Patrick Winters out on the track. I hear some party noise. Oh, what, what is that? Oh yes, it is only for Detroit, ladies and gentlemen. They're throwing a party on the middle of our race. Oh, caution flag is out there. You can't pass Omnicore like that. 
Certainly not by hitting our timing 10. I think that the uh, gym might want to have a look at that. I didn't appreciate that. That was in my face. Yeah. Grim, you might want to hand out something for that. And the Grim is grinning right now. Green flag now, they're all about racing. You have to track back in order. And it looks like the murder banana car from last year is crashing our party. He looks like he's got some uh He's got some lane blockers attached to his car. DJ Party Crasher. Grand applause for Army Corps Detroit. Oh, handshake. He's giving me a handshake, ladies and gentlemen. I wish handshake was on the Meanwhile, Fubar yet again, another caution. Back on the track. You can't keep track of what's going on in this race right now. There's so much happening. Oh, Matilda's coming back out. We're going to have a green flag now. Green flag. All right, so let's give a breakdown to the leaders. Patrick, try to keep an eye on for anything happening on the track while I do this. Sure. In first place, Nimby Ferrari, already 49 laps completed. Second place, your hometown heroes, I3 Detroit. Third place, from Grays Lake Garage, Car Catastrophe. Fourth place, Vance Power Racing. Fifth place, now, Hack to the Future. Sixth place, Milwaukee Maker Spaces, Motor Source Rex, right there. Seventh place, Iron Rose, also from Milwaukee Maker Space. Eighth place, Lucky 13. Judy Miku Van, because of their issues with their car, is now in ninth place and falling. Meanwhile, some craziness going on in the back of the track. Really close passing there, mostly caused by the murder banana. The murder banana is a car that, it's the it's dead for the mover, is what that is. <laughs> the murder banana is out there for fun, ladies and gentlemen. Omni Gold Detroit always likes to throw a party on our racetrack, and we let them give it a little bit extra of a mix in the middle of this race. He's setting the tip of the Milwaukee car. Meanwhile, all hands active. Caution flag is out for all hands active. Yet again, more problems. Unfortunate, but maybe with your moxie points, things can uh, things can improve for them. But right now, caution flag is out for that. We can bring them back underway. This time by, Lotosaurus Rex will take the green. And we are back underway. Lotosaurus Rex taking the green flag. We have Sarah Hoffman driving car cat. Catastrophe right now. Grace Lake's looking on the outside of Lotus Source Rex. Oh, and a little bit of pressure on the Tonic Chibi. That was a bit wild. Oh, and the Grim is giving them a warning. Meanwhile, Grace Lake's Garage putting down last Catastrophe, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely keeping consistent. Looks like we have another car out. Caution flag is out again. Looks like we had an incident there towards the back of the field. Meanwhile, there's a lot of balloons out. A lot of bubbles out. Okay. We got some really tight racing out there. Nimby's still in first place, so only a lap ahead of I3 Detroit. Clark has to be in third place. Phantom not far behind on them. Half to the future, they're going to have to go at least 88 miles per hour if they're going to want to catch up to Nimby Brody in first place. <laughs> Matilda's got a problem here now. Oh, yeah. They're looking for a push. It looks like Omnicore's trying to help out Matilda. He's giving him a push. Round of applause for Omnicore for being good teammates. Good, great help for them. That's right. One of the best things about the Power Racing Series is that it's a collaborative sport. So I have no idea how we're going to get back to pit lane this way. Those leader cars are going to have to slow down. This will be interesting, folks. <laughs> oh, and Phantom found a way. Just like in Jurassic Park, they found a way. 
And Trudy Mukavan is back out, ladies and gentlemen. They're in ninth place, but they're going to have to climb their way back now. Another round of applause for Omni Club Destroy, helping out all hands active there. Meanwhile, while the rest of the cars on their second stint of this endurance race, it is now looking really good. Really good for Nimbus Ferrari. Lotosaurus Rex is back out on track. Oh, meanwhile, GB Nukovan in the front straightaway. Yeah, we have a caution flag out for that. Caution is out. Unfortunate, Chibi Nico Van yet again another problem. They were so fast at the beginning. Oh, and it looks like we're going to have a on the track. Where did he come from? I don't know, Patrick. That doesn't look like a problem at all. I don't know if that's regulation at all, but it seems to be going just fine. At least in this case, faster than all hands active. And boy, do we have a tight pack of cars here, folks. Nimby Ferrari, your leader right now, has to get their way through this mess while Phantom making up for lost time. As well as Hack to the Future. Right now, Nimby Ferrari has completed 62 laps with I3 close behind them and Phantom also right behind them. Area catastrophe. Seven minutes through the next driver train. Seven minutes. And Chini Nikovan heading to the pits now for the third time. Really unfortunate for Chini Nikovan. He's a contender for the lead, but he's only now falling down to 11th and he's still falling. This is a shame for the endurance race. Meanwhile, Catastrophe slowly making their way up through the field. Slow and steady is paying on that. Fubar's off again. Fubar again into the wall. Nobody's back underway. New Jersey continues on. We have the Inventicar here completing more laps. Fubar Labs trying to keep it together, it looks like. Meanwhile, a massive pile of cars, our leaders. I'm free to Detroit, your second place team right there. A tremendous performance from them. Hack to the Future trying to climb their way back up through the field after that disastrous first, first few lap wreck. Cartash will be waiting in the crowd, looking for your moxie, making sure you get those moxie points out there. But right now, Phantom and I3 are your nearest challengers to NIMBY, which seems to be steady and quiet, just making their way through the race, putting laps down, putting on a clinic, really. They are no means the fastest car out there, but they are certainly keeping it together and getting out of trouble, which is something that half the field has yet to do right today. Lots of cars moving through, Hack to the Future finding their way through. Phantom Power Racing quietly getting through as well, while Catastrophe is closing in on them as well in fourth place. But right now we have to, we seem to have two sections of the track. You need a new fuse. They, it looks like Judy Nikovan needs a new fuse. They just started begging for a new fuse. They blew it. Patrick's right now, the timing is scoring, he's looking for a new fuse for new. They, blew, they broke one of the rules, they popped the fuse, and now they're paying the price for it. How unfortunate for them. Nimby Ferrari still in first place with I3 Detroit and Phantom Power Racing, your top three. Meanwhile, Cartastrophe, Hack to the Future, and Lotosaurus Rex are all right there next to each other, battling it out. But right now, it's looking really good for our top three who have stayed out of trouble thus far. But it is far from over for us. Mr. Speaking with the third place car just collided with one of the Batmobiles and a Mensa car. They're back underway. Meanwhile, Omnicore Detroit is still putting laps down and partying on, my friends. Just like Fubo Labs is dancing along the Omnicore party. Keeping it together. Phantom being very careful to overtake. Phantom's playing good, a really good strategy. They're keeping it. Oh! And second place, I3 Detroit spill! That's a caution. 
Caution flag is out. That's a big spill. Is the driver all right? It looks like he's got on the pads and knee pads. Yeah, the driver's fine. It's the car. The second place car. We're going to go back to green. Uh -huh. Terrible assumption. Maybe Sports and Power Racing can take second place from I-3. And it is. Phantom can pass now, I three. Phantom now moving up to second place. Second place now for Phantom Power Racing. That unfortunate wreck, it just looked like driver error. I'm not sure what happened to I three Detroit, but they just hit the side of the tie wall all by themselves. I'm not sure how that happened even. But it's an absolute disaster for a second place car. They fall already to fourth place. The Phantom and Cartashery have passed the boat. Oh, unbelievable shame for I-3 Detroit, the heartbreak there, the sadness, there's something wrong with the fellow, oh, and lap by lap, it's falling apart for them right now, as they now fall to fifth place, as Hack to the Future has now taken fourth place from I-3 Detroit. Oh, oh, that is such a shame. They were doing so well, but now they're going to have to fight back up to the track. And it's going to be a hard battle for them. They're having to take three laps up to them. And we have a caution in back. I'm not sure how that caution is. Oh, it's Chini Mookie Van popping it yes again. Is that a fuse again? He's not sure what's up, ladies and gentlemen. It's Chini Mookie Van. We're underway again. It's very unfortunate. Two minutes to driver change. Two minutes to driver change. And our second driver's seat, ladies and gentlemen, is about to go under. Just a few minutes left. Man, they're racing it close out there, ladies and gentlemen. There have been so many cautions today. We've had to keep reinflating our caution tank. And yet again, another caution is we can't possibly get a break from it. Hands active having horrible luck. I, I, Patrick, I think all hands active have caused at least seven cautions today. I lost track and some another caution. All hands active very pleased. Then we have green flag again. Literally going for broke. All hands active. One minute to driver change, one minute to driver change. And we're back on our way, our leader, Nimbi Ferrari, first place. Phantom Power Racing in second. Cartastrophe in third. I3 Detroit has fallen all the way back to sixth. Fifth place, fifth place. It's uh, fifth place I3 Detroit has fallen. About two laps away from the leaders. That was a really costly pit stop for them. But it has been a fantastic improvement for Hack to the Future, who capitalized on their mistakes. Hack to the Future trying to claw their way back. Their DeLorean damaged in the front, but still going strong. And meanwhile, Lucky 13 is in the pits for reasons unknown. It could be because there's a driver change in eight seconds. I don't know. Is it that? It's quite early for that driver change. You never maybe want to get a jump on it. Uh, Driver change, man of yeah. driver change, driver change, yep, that's right, lucky 13. And it looks like the Batman is looking for Moxie points. Their car is broken, and Rangers want extra Moxie for the rest of the weekend. It looks like Adam West is running around on the track. All right, let's go see what's going on in the pits. Ladies and gentlemen, your leaders, Nimby Ferrari, are making the battery change. Everyone who can see it, hear me here, check this out. We are seeing a battery change right now. Nippy Ferrari, your leaders. They're trying to get them in as fast as they can, bolting down the batteries, and they have to get the body back on. Meanwhile, second place car, Phantom Power Racing, also making a change for it. And this first driver's out. This is incredible. Phantom Power Racing has gotten out before Nimby. They can make up time right now. They can gain another lap on the leader. They have to put down a couple laps. But now Nimby's out and going just behind Hack to the Future. Hack to the Future in fourth place. Patrick, that was a fantastic piss up from Phantom Power Racing. They got out ahead of the leaders. They are gaining on the leader now. They are, they, they've actually set a faster lap time than Nimby has. 
They're also in clean air, Patrick. They'll be able to get out of this now. With the fastest lap of the day so far, it's 16.412. All hands active. They've got a good movement on the track. Looks like Aha, all hands active again with Wee getting a slow start. Patrick, I'm starting to think all hands, AHA sounds for uh, always hitting anything at this point. And yet, as I say that, they're still trying to throw underway. They're doing their best to get the car moving, but it's just not agreeing with them. It's unstable. It's quick, it's just that the wheels are wobbling, man. It's pretty impressive. They're driving the wheels off of that.